of America. Hi, my name is Leah Cornella. Uh, I'm a student from New Paltz, New York, and um, I just wanted to say that I sincerely and honestly believe that the war on drugs is the foremost problem that is plaguing our nation and world today. Um, it is affecting us in all aspects of uh, our life, our lives <laughs> within the country. Um, it's essentially making <laughs> making our own citizens into criminals, normal people who are good, honest, hard workers who choose to spend their free time uh, committing supposed nonviolent crimes, um, partaking in the consumption of substances that don't affect or detriment any others around them, are being turned into criminals and locked up, and um, it's sincere, severely detracting from our society and world today. <laughs> Live from Washington, D.C., I'm Martha, I'm Tony, and I'm Joe. We're from East Providence, Rhode Island, we're here in Washington supporting Ron Paul in the Revolution March, and uh, we still want everybody to vote for Ron Paul, write it in on the paper ballot. Freedom we rocks. ask all you people that's leaving Rhode Island here to stick with us and fight for freedom, my friend. That's right, and uh, thank you guys very much, it's a beautiful event, so uh, we're signing off. Oh, Mom, Dad, Mavis, yeah, Sarah, Mariana. Hello, everyone. Yeah, what's yes. going on, man, from uh, Washington over there? It's pretty cool. Hello, everybody. Peace. Peace out, man. We the people of Rhode Island. We're here with Lady Liberty Bell. Let's see what she has to say. Let's let her express her First Amendment rights here in D.C. at the Ron Paul Revolution March. Hi, it's good to be here. I came from Atlanta, Georgia. And it's good to see all these fine people for the freedom of speech. The uh, rally is in full swing, and we've been listening to many, many different people voice their view on the critical issues of freedom, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. According to the Constitution and the lack of personal liberty that um, is showing up every day, and we're, it's a gradual process, so... We're losing it and are not aware of it. So today, all these people are waking up, and we are coming together to unite into a bond of, of brotherhood and friendship and unity to go out and be inspired at the local level to help our neighbors and our friends to also wake up and to take um, our power back, not in a rebellious way, but in a respectful way of being open to our liberties that our forefathers from the 1770s had in mind when they wrote the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, and the other important documents that are kept here in the capital of the United States in Washington, D.C., for all of us to see the original documents. And to think about all the energy that went into a great group of people to put on paper their thoughts to represent all of mankind here in the colonies and to represent taxation and limited government and personal rights. So here we are and our forefathers I'm sure are watching and sending good energy because they're probably upset in the turn of events from where they left things years and years ago. Okay, so that's it for right now for We the People of Rhode Island. Thank you, Thank you Lady Liberty. Hi, my name's Kevin Lutz. I'm from Redline, Pennsylvania. Uh, most people, if you're watching this, already know about the loss of their freedoms and their tyranny. Uh, question 9-11, what you probably don't know is that uh, most of the water in America is drugged with sodium fluoride, which lowers your IQ, uh, it could cause uh, cancer in children. Um, the Nazis used it for uh, keeping the Jews complacent in their concentration camps. Go to your local water companies and fight this. Find out if your water is clean or not. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, this is Brendan Conway Smith from Canada. Came down here to join the Ron Paul Revolution because I see that this is not just an American issue, this is a worldwide global issue. Uh, because I realize if you look at a chart of our personal freedoms over the last few years, you see it going down, 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 down. 
and uh, doesn't look good for any of us. You see a chart of government control over the past few years. You see going up, 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 up. Doesn't look very good at all. So I come down to support this cause so I can see that uh, you know, it happens in my country, you see it happens in a lot of other countries, and uh, I'll be proud to, proud to be part of it. Um, so uh, on the last note, I'd just like to say uh, let freedom ring not only uh, throughout America, but uh, around the entire world. Peace. How you doing? My name's David. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm an activist. I'm involved with a group called the Lone Lantern Society. We've distributed over 40,000 DVDs pertaining to 9-11. Now, I know there's a lot of people that are not familiar with 9-11, the issue of 9-11, but just look at Building 7. That's textbook controlled demolition. There's no going about it. No plane hit the building. There's a crimp on the top, falls in free fall speed. It's controlled demolition, and it falls in its own footprint. And if you are aware of the truth, please get active and let the, show the people around you. Show everyone that that you care about what's going on because if they did it once they'll do it twice and let me tell you they've already done it more than twice so 9-11 was just the re most recent event what did they gain from it homeland security laws what are they doing taking away our freedoms away now nah, we're not gonna have it anymore all right thank you my name is Jesse Dollar from Richmond Virginia and it's great to be here go Ron Paul My name is Nathan Ramsey and I'm from St. Cloud, Florida and I just wanted to say that um, much ado has been made of how we can change the system and much ado has been made of the things that need to be changed. But I think the most important part is just to educate the next generation because if you teach us we will carry this fight and if you let us learn how to live and how we should be doing these things then we can do it. I mean they can't stop us at that point. We have to fight for the education first. My name is Steven Saunders. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. I'm a veteran. We need to end the Federal Reserve now. Hi, my name is Steven Vasquez, and I'm running for Congress at the New York 21st District. And we are here to celebrate liberty and our constitutional freedoms. I'm running in an open race where there's no incumbent. 98% of the time, incumbents win, and this is a great opportunity for a Ron Paul candidate to win an election. Ron Paul endorsed our campaign, but I'm also here to talk about the 40 other candidates that are running across the country. If you go to pollcongress.com, you'll see other like-minded uh, liberty candidates who are running across the country to uh, go into the building behind us and to back up Ron Paul and the Constitution. The more people that we get in that building, the more that our movement continues and builds momentum for more candidates in 2010 and 2012. So support your local candidate, and if there's a candidate not in your local state, support anyone from California, Kansas, Texas, or New York. It doesn't matter. As long as they get in that building, they're supporting our values, just like Ron Paul supports and represents all of us from Texas. Thank you. This concludes this program broadcast. We the People, a freedom of speech television show. Go to www.wethepeopleofri.org.